Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Beyond measure. This kid's gonna be the best kid in the world. This kid's gonna be somebody better than anybody ever knew. Because if you're willing to go through all the battling you gotta go through to get to where you wanna get, who's got the right to stop you? I mean, maybe some of you guys got something you never finished, something you really wanna do, something you never said to somebody, something. And you're told no, even after you pay your dues, who's got the right to tell you that? Who? Nobody. It's your right to listen to your gut. It ain't nobody's right to say no after you earn the right to be where you want to be and do what you want to do. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now, if you know what you're worth, now go out and get what you're worth. But you got to be willing to take the hits and not pointing fingers saying you ain't where you want to be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. We're in hell right now, gentlemen. Believe me. And we can stay here, get the shit kicked out of us, or we can fight our way back into the light. We can climb out of hell. One inch at a time. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. Your playing small does not serve the world. There is nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. We were all meant to shine as children do. It's not just in some of us, it's in everyone. And as we let our own light shine, we unconsciously give other people permission to do the same as we are liberated from our own fear. Our presence automatically liberates others. You know, when you get old in life, things get taken from you. I mean, that's, that's, that's part of life. But you only learn that when you start losing stuff. You find out life's this game of inches. The margin for error is so small, I mean, one half a step too late or too early, and you don't quite make it. One half second too slow, too fast, you don't quite catch it. The inches we need are everywhere around us. They're in every break of the game, every minute, every second. On this team, we fight for that inch. On this team, we tear ourselves and everyone else around us to pieces for that inch. Yeah. We claw with our fingernails for that inch. Because we know when we add up all those inches, that's gonna make the fucking difference between winning and losing. Between living and dying. I'll tell you this, in any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die who's gonna win that inch. And I know if I'm gonna have any life in it, it's because I'm still willing to fight and die for that inch. Because that's what living is. The six inches in front of your face. All of you chumps are gonna bow when I whip him. All of you, I know you got him. I know you got him picked, but the man's in trouble. I'm gonna show you how great I am. Ask me if I have a God complex.